Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jaren, and today we will be talking about Saki Fuwa and her weapon and what makes it strong uh, when it comes to her attack resonance buff or her excited flow. So first of all, let's talk about her skill. Her skill allows you to enter the uh, silent flow or excited flow depending on uh, what um, resonance you're running. So since we're going to talk about her excited flow, we will be running um, attack, uh, attack resonance and talk about excited flow. So excited flow is this uh, round aura that's uh, circling in, uh, outside you, and this triggers uh, the flow, which is basically the attack, random attacks. Uh, yeah, that is thrown on the nearby enemies, and uh, it triggers you, uh, it gives you heal as well as uh, some bonus damage. So is this one? Where is it? excited flow? All right, so excited flow uh, will release flow. So that's flow. It's called flow. And which inflicts 45% of your frost attack and recovers 57% 50 of the damage and the maximum recovery cannot exceed 100% of your attack. So that is flow and it triggers every 0.8 seconds. So every 0.8 seconds you get free damage um, just by using her skill, just by activating flow. Another thing flow gives you is it allows you to trigger surge. Surge is triggered by using her discharge or her uh, attack hold. So that is attack hold and that triggered the flow so the what is fl what is the um surge i mean so what is surge surge is basically just a bonus damage it's just the yeah every time you use sacrifice branch skills which is the attack hold or discharge you deal 175 percent of your frost attack so that's just it right it's just basically bonus damage which has a cooldown of 10 seconds so every 10 seconds you can trigger flow or surge as long as you have flow enabled so you trigger surge once again right there and her advancements just make surge uh just a, a whole lot better so now let's talk about her advancements so for a1 uh first uh advancement in the very the most important advancement is basically a skill reset so you get this buff right here which has a number of stacks right there so in, currently we have three stacks and when we use three skills so let's for example let's use uh, free skill now it turns into four now the fifth one will reset all your skills so this is activated when you have advancement level one so let's use um Saki skill then now the, all your weapons reset we use Saki skill once again frozen domain can be triggered once again so yeah so that's uh that's basically what the advancement one does it resets all your cooldowns as long as you are able to stack it up to five times and you stack it by using skills so since we just used all three of our weapon skills now we have three stacks once again and we just need to use two more to be able to trigger it and reset all our cooldowns so that's that's what makes this weapon really really strong is the skill reset it's it's everything about the skill reset so using all these skills uh in a short amount of time that makes it really really good uh the next one is for the advancement number three this is just a buff on your surge so surge instead of 175 percent damage which we talked about earlier it turns into 350 percent so it just doubles the damage of your surge uh nothing uh nothing big there although it's it's good to have you know if you're min maxing your damage then that uh, 175 percent of your first attack can be uh, a whole lot more um next her advancement number five freeze time this is basically fantasia this is what we triggered just now um you can trigger it by triggering surge so uh, it shares the same cooldown as her fantasia so you can see the cooldown your fantasia right here now let's wait for it now our surge is on cooldown let's use the surge attack hold and there we go that's a fantasia you don't have to dodge you don't have to do anything just use your attack hold or your discharge and you will be able to trigger that um Fantasia. So uh, you can also not have that just dodge to use Fantasia, you know. It's, it's what uh this it's not a big deal. And last but not least, uh the advancement six, which gives you frost damage eleven percent for fifteen seconds whenever you trigger surge. So let's trigger surge right here. Um you need to hit a target whenever you try to uh, use surge. So if you're not going to hit a target, your surge will go all go down and any effects uh that is associated with surge will not be triggered so let's use surge right here and now i get a frost damage buff which is 11 percent so that's just basically it that's the advancement six 
and you can trigger that every 10 seconds since search has a cooldown of 10 seconds. So let's use search once again. Buff is refreshed. This is for 15 seconds. So you have a five second window to recast the buff to keep the uh, buff alive. So let's wait for a few more seconds. Trigger surge, surge. Uh, we did not hit anything. So she died before the surge actually completed. So we did not get the uh, rebuff. So that's what makes her weapon good. Last but not least, let's talk about her mages. Her mages are fairly simple. Um, every three seconds you deal damage, uh, bonus damage to uh, 10 meter radius around you. Then once you hit three stacks, you get a bonus damage of 5% for 18 seconds. That gives him the mark. Uh, then for the four piece, it's basically every time you hit by 10 times, you just get the 12 second flash freeze and you can um, burst the damage or burst the target down so it's all just bonus damage you can you can or cannot get it so what makes this good is that they are both background effects so you don't have to put them on your main weapon your main weapon can have your dps matrices and your offhand weapon can have the sakifua matrices uh that stacks with your dps matrices so it's the thing that makes it really really good is uh that it's a background that's just it Translate with Saki, so um, she works well, really well with Frigg because Frigg has a really um, good amount of buffs that you can increase the damage for your Saki Fuwa. Then in another attack weapon, um, you can't have any other weapon since she is a um, defense resonance or fortitude resonance. So you're forced to have two attack weapons right here, which you can put maybe Tsubasa, you can put um, Shiro, you can put Claudia. Something like that. Just anything that gives you an extra damage for your Saki Fuwa. Any offhand weapon that gives you bonus damage. So, um, Subasa gives that. Claudia gives that. Shiro gives that. So, yeah. So, that is it. This is just a quick video. I hope you guys like it. See you guys in the next video.